Business Calculus, Topic 4.2, Problem Number 18. I would like to create a rectangular orchard garden that abuts my house so that the house itself forms the northern boundary. The fencing for the southern boundary will cost me $4 per foot, and the fencing for the east and west side costs $2 per foot. Now, if I have a budget of $80 for the project, what are the dimensions of the garden that um, with the greatest area I can enclose. Okay, well we have a garden. Typically a garden will just be a rectangle, but since my house will form the northern boundary, it'll look like this instead, where my house is over here. Alright, so this is my garden. And we know that the fencing on the um, southern boundary, all this fencing right here, this is four dollars a foot. Whereas the east and west sides are costing me two dollars every foot. And I have a total budget of eighty dollars for this. And I'm trying to find the um, the dimensions that will give me the greatest area. So I need the area formula. So area equals length times width. My length is over here. Or sorry, this is, I'll call this my width. Well, that's going to be width. And my length is here. So length and width. Now, I have a budget of $80. So my $80 um, comes from paying from four dollars for each of these L's here. So I'll pay four dollars for each L. Also have to pay for this side right here on the west side. That's going to cost me two dollars for each W. This side is also going to cost me two dollars for each of the W's or each of the widths or feet and width. So this should add up to eighty dollars. So I'll combine these and have four L plus four W. Now I'm going to solve for W, so we're going to say 80 minus 4L equals 4W. Divide everything by 4, and I get W equals L, negative L, and 20. Alright, so now let's take the W here and replace that. So we're going to have A of W now. Or a of l, my fault, a of l, is going to equal l times 20 minus l. So that means a l, when we multiply all this out, is going to be 20 l minus l squared. And now I'll take the derivative of the area in order to um, maximize it. Looking to maximize, because we we'll look at the greatest area. This will be 20 minus 2 l. It will set it equal to zero and solve for L. And L is 10 feet. Well, we're looking for the dimensions that will give us the greatest area. So 10 feet is for the uh, length. Width is going to be 20, raise that up a little bit, minus 10. So the width is going to be 10. So the dimensions for this should be a 10 by 10. Number 31. The wholesale price for chicken in the U.S. fell from 25 cents per pound to 14 cents per pound, while per capita chicken consumption rose from 22 pounds per year to 27.5 pounds per year. Now, Assuming the demand for chicken depends linear on, lin linearly on the price, what wholesale price for chicken maximizes the revenue? And also, what does that revenue amount to? Well, first of all, everything's over said and done. We're looking for revenue. So we need the revenue function. The revenue function is made out of price times the demand function. And we're told that the demand is going to be linear. So that means that when we create our queue, 
it needs to be a linear function made from points. Where the input will be price, made from price, and the output is actually the demand. So price, we knew at a price of 25 cents per pound, 25 percent per pound, um, the quantity that people were um, eating was about 22 pounds. And let's see, when the price became 14 cents, consumption went up to 27 and a half. Okay, so a slope for that would be m equals um, 22 minus 27.5 all over 0.25 minus 0.14. Okay, so let's work that out. That'll be a negative, um, let's see, 2 from 7 is 5.5, and this will be 0.09. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Um, negative 5.5 divided by 0 0.09 and we get a negative 61 and the ones are repeating so I'm just going to put three ones here. In money we're only going to use two decimal places um, so I know when we finish we're going to have two decimal places for our change so I'm kind of keeping my accuracy up to one more until we get to the end we'll go down to two. Alright so that's our slope. Now, for a linear equation for this, we're going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. For the y, we're going to use 22, so minus 22. For the slope, negative 61.111. And for the x, we're going to use the 25 cents here. All right, so distributing my negative 61.111, I'll have that x. And then a negative times a negative will give me a positive. So I'm going to take that answer and multiply it times a negative 0.25. And now I get 15.277. So let's round that last one to an 8. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add 22 to both sides. And that will give me y equals negative 61111x plus 37.278. Now, remember, this linear equation is representing the um, demand function. So I'm going to go back to writing this as a Q. So Q equals negative 61.111p price plus 37.278. Okay. So this is our demand function, linear demand function. Now, to get the revenue function, we multiply that by P, so this becomes Q, sorry, revenue equals negative 61111P squared plus 37.278P. And that's my revenue function. Doesn't look like revenue, yes, it's R. Now, the derivative of revenue, we'll multiply all that by two, so let's take the, um, Let's see, if I multiply that by 2, that's not too hard. Uh, that'll give me negative 12, that'll be a 2, and 0.222p, plus the, speak, the derivative of p is 1, so that becomes 37.278, and we will set all this equal to 0, and then solve for p. So this will be... 37.278 equal to um, 122. Am I writing that correctly? Yeah, I think I am. 222 um, P. And divide everything by the 122.222. The 1.2222. Okay, it's getting a little low. Let's raise that a bit. Okay. All right, so we're dividing everything by the 1.22, um, 122.222. So let's get that on the radar. So 37.278 divided all by 122.222. And we get 
about 30 and a half cents. Okay, that's about 30 cents, so that's about a half left over, about half a penny there. Okay, so we got the price. So that answers the question of what price will maximize the revenue. Now they also ask, what does the revenue amount to? Well, we find out what the revenue amount to amounts to by using the revenue function. So revenue will equal negative 6.111 p squared plus 37.278 times p. And we know that p is about 30 cents. So I'm going to put um, 30 cents in for x. So I'm going to store that in x. There we go. And now I'm going to have negative 61.111 times x squared plus 37.278 times x and that will give me a revenue 5.68. I'll stop it there because this is now money. So $5.68 um, we're making per um, chicken. Okay. Or good revenue. Five bucks, almost six.